there are two messages that I try to bring. First, that the practice of central banks over the last few years, including the ECB, of measuring policy and trying to set policy with an eye on long-term interest rates can be understood from different perspectives, can be dangerous in some ways, but it can also be beneficial. And how should we think about these changes in long-term interest rates in the context of monetary policy? Second, when we see that the market inflation expectations are different from public inflation expectations, should we be worried, should we not, and to what extent is that due to policy actions? The last 10 years have been an extraordinary time for central banks. Due to the crisis and due to the developments in the economy, some permanent, some temporary, central banks have had to do a series of extraordinary measures that they had not anticipated before the crisis. As a result, the practice of monetary policy went ahead of the science of monetary policy, and so far, central banks had to boldly take actions to deal with events, even if very often one wasn't completely sure about their effects. Science is now catching up in terms of both analyzing what were the effects of those policies, as well as, in some ways, going ahead again insofar as proposing and suggesting which of these policies should be kept, which should be discontinued, or if you want more generally, what should be the new normal for monetary policy and central banks.